This spring has been placed on the inclined plane. This is its relaxed length. We put the origin x equals zero at this end of the spring. This spring is tied to the wall and to the mass. The spring is stretched by distance x as mass m is pulled down the incline. When released from rest, the mass slides up the hill. The coefficient of kinetic friction is mu k and the spring constant is k. Identify the forces and then write the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. Gravity pulls the mass downward toward the center of the earth and against the surface of the inclined plane. In reaction, the surface pushes on the block in the direction that is perpendicular to the surface. The force of the spring, Fs equals minus Kx, pulls the mass back toward its equilibrium length. As the mass moves up the incline, the force of kinetic friction points down the incline. Sum the y forces first to obtain the normal force and then the frictional force. The sum of the y components of forces equals the normal force n minus mg cosine theta equals zero. So in this situation, the normal force equals mg cosine theta, and that makes the kinetic frictional force, which is always mu k times n, equals mu k mg cosine theta in this case. Now that we know the frictional force, we add up the x components of forces equals plus mg sine theta minus kinetic friction minus the spring force kx equals mass times acceleration. Substituting in the frictional force, we get mg sine theta minus mu k mg cosine theta minus kx equals ma. And again, the mass does not cancel. To obtain the velocity v of x, we write the acceleration as a function of x and get mg sine theta minus mu k mg cosine theta minus kx equals ma, but we write the acceleration as v dv dx. Move the differential dx from the right side to the left side to get this equation. And then integrate x from x0 to x and integrate v from v0 to v. Just to make the mathematicians mad, we won't bother using a different letter in the integration. In this integral, all of this stuff is constant. And so when we integrate, that stuff is just multiplied by the limits x minus x0. When we integrate minus kx, we get minus one-half k x squared minus x zero squared. On the right-hand side, integrating v dv gives one-half v squared. So the right side is one-half m v squared minus one-half m v zero squared. In the next chapter, the left-hand side will be referred to as the mechanical work done to move the mass along the x-axis and the right-hand side will be referred to as the change in kinetic energy, 1 half mv squared.